I'm David Plant. I am the CPO. Uh, my name is Jake Aller. My role here at Brew Candle Company is uh, the COO, the Chief uh, Operations Officer. Uh, my name is Jordan Proats, um, and I am the uh, CCO and uh, Chief Officer of like Content Media. My name is JP Teague, and I am the CEO of Brew Candle Company, um, also uh, the founder. If someone were, you know, only just told about us by word of mouth and like they've come to me and they want to be convinced as to why they might want to buy a candle. Really what I would say to them is, hey, you know, we make craft beer inspired candles. Uh, the whole point is that uh, they're, you know, very close to being sustainable in the sense that they're 100% soy wax and there's actually zero waste from what we make um, because, you know, the wick burns all the way down and you're just left with a reusable pint glass that all you do is wash out and use later. Moreover, um, we, we actually compete directly with um, Yankee Candle in terms of burn time as well as cost. Uh, we have a 35 to 40 hour burn time um, and our, one of our standard pint glass candles costs about $16.99 uh, before tax. Uh, a Yankee Candle that's comparable in terms of burn time is about $22 to $27. Uh, so right there you can already see that we're anywhere from you know, $5, $6 to $10 cheaper than the same kind of candle for burn time as well as scent and you get to use your pine glass afterwards instead of just your glass container. Um, my former business partner and I, uh, he, he kind of actually had the original idea for it. And he brought it to me and we kind of, we talked it out together and refined some of the, the finer points of it. And uh, we were like, this seems like something we could really do. And so we uh, got, and got the materials together. We looked up like, how do you make a candle online? And uh, we got some of the base materials. We went to Walmart. I got a pine glass from uh, the brewery that I work at, Lost Province Brewing Company, and we just melted down this really, you know, store-bought, terrible wax. And uh, for the wick, we tied the wick around a nail to put it down in the bottom to hold it down in the glass and kind of wait for it to set. And um, yeah, ever since then, that first really terrible candle, uh, it all kind of snowballed from there. And now we're here and we went to the, uh, the world's largest Christmas show last year, and now we're just kind of doing our, our thing, making our way. We started out kind of a ragtag group, talking about it, you know, meeting at you know local coffee shops like Enews and local wine, or here in the apartment here at Brew Lab, and just wondering, you know, how we're going to make this work, what this is going to look like. We spent months on the website, we spent months on the content, we spent months on these these candles and their styles, their scents. We spent hours and nights that we didn't get any sleep or any any time to think, and we made it happen. I never thought that I would be running a company ever. Even though it's, you know, it's four guys and a wax melter, it's still pretty cool. You know, we've found this cool job that we've created for ourselves. And that's something that I never knew I'd be able to do. I never knew that I'd be able to create my own job. Um, and that's an option for people is that they don't have to go, you know, they don't have to graduate school and then go off and you know, beg for a job from somewhere, you can create your own job. I work on this pretty much all day long. I've never quite stopped, but it's so much fun that I don't really care. If you like beer, or you think you like beer, if you like candles, or you think you might like candles, you probably should like candles. You want to do something that's sustainable by burning something that's really not going to affect the environment too much because it's made out of soy, and you want to have a pint glass, whether you want to drink water, soda, or any sort of alcohol out of it, like you can't really lose by buying one of Brew Candle Company's candles. This is this is just something that's like a no-brainer, and that's a quote from people from Asking on TV. This is a no-brainer. They said they get it. That's literally out of the mouth of a senior product manager at Asking on TV. Um, and shoot, man, like you just can't go wrong.